is Grace de Finvar de Ta, who wrote the um, history of the SCA in the site handout, the, the combined history, which like really glosses over a lot of things. <laughs> Is room. only as good as his sources, which have their own agendas. But he um, sent me a piece about how he didn't join the SCA. Lots of pieces about how I joined the SCA. This is a piece how I didn't join the SCA. And this is the person who was known as the Iron Duke for a very long time because up until recently he had fought in every battle, every Pensacola. And it was only the treachery of his body against his mind that has kept him from doing so since. But he has found other things. But this is not a tale of Finbar. Now, this is a tale of Finbar very, very long ago. Not quite as far long ago as I go, but not much less. <coughs> so, how I didn't join the SCA by Finbar de Ta. This is a story about how I didn't join the SCA. It might be more accurate to say that it's about how I passed on, passed on plenty of opportunities to get in on the ground floor. We can argue about where the ground floor is, but I'll just say I did not go to the first tournament and I didn't attend a West Kingdom event until 1975. Let's start in 1967. I moved from Ohio to New Jersey. This made it possible for me to go to New York, the New York World Science Fiction Convention that year. I was in heaven. While I was there, I picked up a lot of free fanzines and announcements of various sorts and brought a few books as well. One of the fanzines was a one-page newsletter that older science fiction fans will know went on to greater things. <laughs> it was, no, this is not the announcement. This was Locus Number One, the news, the news magazine of science fiction fans. And in that fanzine was an announcement that there would be a meeting in New York City with the intention of founding an East Kingdom of the Society for Creative Anachronism. I looked at it and said something like, huh, and paid no further attention. I was not interested. While at the convention, I joined the next year's Worldcon called Baycon. It was taking place in Berkeley on Labor Day weekend of 1968, and those who were lucky enough to go had a great old time. Part of the festivities was a tournament put on by the SCA and lots of people were very impressed. Some of them went home and started working on creating their own branches of the SCA. I was not part of this. I didn't have the money to go to Berkeley, so what I got out of it were the handouts that all convention members got in person or by mail. One of them was a guide to the current Middle Ages, a very practical little booklet written by the SCA which showed how you could put on the tournament in your own backyard. I looked at it and said something like, huh, and thought no more about it. I wasn't interested. A few weeks after Bacon, I started at Michigan State University where I joined the Tolkien Fellowship, something that made me deliriously happy. Other Tolkien fans, at least two of the members, had been to the Bacon and had taken pictures of the tournament. They were trying to sell their friends on the idea of putting on a tournament in East Lansing. They didn't have any luck. Me, I looked at the pictures, said something like, huh, and thought no more about it. I was not interested. The next year, 1969, I had a bit more money and I got to go to the St. Louis Convention. Part of this world con was the coronation of the first king and queen of the Middle Kingdom. <coughs> Representatives from both East and West were there to take part, or as they saw it, run the show. For various reasons, there was a long delay and several times my friends and I walked through the room meant for the coronation and glanced at people in medieval costumes. There weren't very many of them. We didn't even stop to ask them about it. We were off the panels of the book room or something else more standard in science fiction. It's probably just as well I didn't try to get interested because the conflict between the two senior kingdoms over running the coronation might have turned me off. On this occasion, I didn't even say, huh. 
and I certainly thought no more about it. I was still not interested. That fall, I was back at Michigan State, having more fun than ever with the science fiction and fantasy clubs. They were pretty big by now, and we had a lot of energy. As Halloween approached, many of us decided to dress up. There was not a lot of consultation about what would be fun and appropriate, but when we got together, it turned out that a whole bunch of us had adopted sword and sorcery personas. And then, seeing her opportunity, Signe Dimmerdala stepped forward with her bacon photos in hand and said, wouldn't it be interesting if we did a medieval tournament SCA style? And suddenly I was interested. <laughs> As were a whole bunch of other people, and that was the beginning of the Barony of Northwoods, one of the earliest and most dynamic Middle Kingdom groups. And that's the story of how I didn't join the SCA. <laughs>